uh, this video we will go and create our corridor and cross sections to calculate the cut and fill area of this profile uh, of this road uh, so in our case we will go to corridors and for corridors first of all we need to create a cross section which is called in civil 3d a sub assembly uh, we will go and open sub assembly tool palette you can also open this sub assembly tool palette from here as well in here we have in civil 3d there are a lot of uh, sub assemblies already assigned there are many uh, pre-built sub assemblies there in civil 3d in corridor we will say create assembly and we will say it is rd1 name of the sub assembly and uh, assembly style is basic okay just click it and you will see this is this depicts the center line of the of your road now we will uh, we will be adding right and left uh, features of our road like uh, uh, on the right side we have uh, 3.5 meter of uh, carriageway and after that we have some shoulder and after shoulder we have uh, curbstone or curbs and after curbs we have a uh, footpath or walkway uh, let's go and add these features From here we will say assembly metric and in basic we will go and check basic lane transition general pavement let's say and go ahead and we will add some basic lane when we will click basic lane it says select marker point with assembly uh, but before that we will go uh, here and uh, check the properties uh, the side is right side we are going to add width of road will be 3.5 depth of our road will be 0 0.50 centimeters uh, in our in my case I will be choosing one layer only but in other sub assemblies you can assign different depths for each uh, layer like we have asphalt we have road base we have sub base so each layer has its own depth and you can assign those depths uh, separately in my case i'm just going to use very simple uh, sub assembly uh, slope we say it is minus two percent after assigning all of this data you can click here and it shows this the next thing we are going to use is shoulder or we can or we can again use the same sub assembly click here go this and the shoulder will be we say it is 1.5 meter width of shoulder and the depth of shoulder is uh, 0.25 centimeter slope is same uh, like uh, two percent and we go here and click this it extends the road the next thing we have here is a curb stone select from here the curbs and select urban gutter uh, curb gutter general select and uh, there are many features that you can change let's go ahead and add this feature add this curbstone here and after the curbstone we have um, shoulders then i will again use the same yes basic sidewalk 
in basic sidewalk you can also change the width depth uh, buffer width and buffer width too in my case i will say it is two meter of footpath and i will just click here and it will show the footpath here the next thing we have is after the footpath there is side slope going uh, one is four uh, percent uh, 33 percent down or 33 percent up uh, that we can add from generic and i say link offset on surface link slope and vertical deflection link slope to link slope to surface i will say that i have a specific slope that should match to our existing surface I will simply select link slope to surface go to my properties and I will change the side and uh, I will say that the slope should be 1 is to 4 25% and in cut and fill it should both be same and uh, I will click here This is how it looks like this is how our row looks like on the right side if you want to make the same thing on the left side simply click this 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 all of the sub assemblies and the uh, there are options visible over here you can utilize these uh, in our case we will say we should mirror all of these features to the left side because our right side and left side both are the same you can select this option also otherwise you can right click and use mirror now it asks for select marker point within assembly for mirrored sub assemblies simply click here and you can see how your road will look like